What's happening, people? It's your boy, Courtney C. from Q&A TV. And today is February 4th, 2009, which means we are exactly 10 days away from that wonderful, great, beautiful Valentine's Day. Ah, bullshit. So I'm sitting around and I'm thinking, what is the true meaning of Valentine's Day? So, you know, I looked it up and honestly, I got bored with the shit, so I stopped. I mean, I really didn't even give a fuck about why we celebrate Valentine's Day. I've seen a lot of different reasons. All I know is this. I'm not going nowhere to buy your ass a damn thing. If, if I've been with you for a significant amount of time and we're together, what the hell does it matter what I do for you on February the 14th? Ask yourself this question. Can a gift really symbolize how much you love a person? I mean, can you really put a monetary value on how you feel about a person? Can you? Can you? No. And exactly what is the ideal Valentine's Day gift? I mean, is it flowers? That shit's gonna die in a few days. Is it balloons? That shit is gonna deflate in a few days. Is it chocolates? That shit is gonna make you fat. Is it jewelry? That shit is gonna make me broke. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't understand the whole concept of this gift buying shit on Valentine's Day. Should your mate or significant other love you more on Valentine's Day than they do the other 364 or 65 days of the year? Should they? If not, then what's the big fucking deal? All right, so this video right now is for all of the single people. For one, stop sitting on your ass feeling sorry for yourself. Get your ass up and do something for yourself. If you want to feel loved on Valentine's Day, then love your damn self. Do something for you. You want somebody to do something else for you? Damn that. Do the shit for your damn self. Now, ain't nobody going to love you the way you love your damn self. Or they shouldn't anyway. And if you don't love yourself, then something's wrong. You need to reevaluate the whole damn situation. So with all that being said, I created a list of the top 10 things for a single person to do on Valentine's Day. Like the here he go. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is wake up and thank God for everything you have. And I do mean everything. I mean, you could be a lot worse off than just being single. So quit tripping. Get up. Thank God for what you got going on in your life. Lord, thank you for my 220 square foot studio apartment that I live in. Thank you for my job at Church's Chicken that only pays me minimum wage, Lord, but at least I get to eat free chicken and okra every day, Lord. And thank you for curing me of that rash, Lord. I don't know where it came from, but I promise you, I just, I just thank, just thank you, Lord, and and it's just thank you, Lord. Thank you for, thank you for my monthly breeze card that allows me to go to and fro whenever I get ready, you know, because we all know that, you know, it's a hard time now. Thank you, Lord. This I pray in your name. Amen. The next thing you're going to do is masturbate. And I don't mean just a regular masturbation like you usually do. I mean get nasty with it. I mean you masturbate the shit out yourself. You get in there, you just get it. Bring yourself to a climax like you ain't never climaxed before. I mean bust that goddamn nut. Bust it! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's happy. Valentine's Day. Oh. Oh, I love me so much. Oh. 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 Shit. Oh. Oh. Shit. Next thing you need to do, make yourself a nice breakfast. I don't mean just a regular old breakfast like you do any other day. Make yourself a good, scrumptious, fat, artery-clogging, big, healthy, fat, sloppy-ass breakfast. I don't give a damn about no diet. I don't give a damn about watching your figure. If you, It's Valentine's Day, goddammit, and you love you. So make yourself the biggest, sloppiest, nastiest, greasiest, fat woman in this Breakfast you can damn think of. You just get in there. You just pick the fuck out. Hey, shit, eat it in bed. Have breakfast in bed. Maybe you ain't got no damn bed. Have breakfast in that mattress then. Do, you know, do whatever you got to do to make yourself happy on Valentine's Day. Mm, 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 m
The next thing you want to do, put on your favorite outfit or ensemble or suit or whatever it may be. Put on your favorite thing to wear. Put on what makes you feel good. Hell, you might have wore it the day before. It don't even matter though. Put that shit back on. It don't matter who sees you that day because this day is about you and making yourself feel good. So. Man, damn, I wore my favorite shirt yesterday. I ain't got shit to wear. See nobody I seen yesterday, goddamn. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is hang out with your single friends. You know, maybe I'll go out to lunch or something, go do something. Don't, you know what? Don't fuck that. Don't go to lunch. Go do all the shit that your non single friends can't do. You know, regardless of what that may be. Maybe you just wanna go pick up street walkers all night. I don't know. You know, do, do whatever your non single friends can't do. Do that shit up. Do it to the fullest. And then call them and tell them about how great your damn Valentine's Day was. Do that. Next thing you're going to do is something that you've been craving to do. Whether it be go skydiving, take a weekend road trip, uh, go see a new movie. Anything that you've been craving to do that you just haven't made time to do or that you just haven't done for yourself, go and do that shit. Maybe it's paint a room in your house. Maybe it's uh, hang up some curtains or something. Maybe it's wash your damn cottage that's been, that ain't been washed in six or seven months. Now, the next thing you're going to do, get fucked up. And I don't mean just a little fucked up. I mean get fucking wasted. If you drink, then you get sloppy ass drunk. And if you smoke, then you smoke till you can't smoke no damn more. Next thing you're going to do, buy yourself, you know, Valentine's Day always seems to be about gifts, buying gifts. So buy yourself a damn gift, whether it be a new bra, some new J's, some rims for your car, I don't know, maybe some accessories for your car, whether it be a radio or, you know, new highs, maybe your lows, got, maybe you blow one of your subs or something. Do something for yourself, uh, whether it be a new shirt, new coat, new jacket, uh, maybe it's a new deal though that you want. Maybe it's that new Louis Vuitton Speedy purse. Maybe you've been wanting a Wii, a new watch, a new shirt, something to put in your house or your apartment. You know, whatever it is, go out and get that shit for you because you deserve it, goddammit. And this day is about you. It's about you loving you. Next thing you're going to do, go to the strip club because believe it or not, the majority of the people in there are probably going to be single. Not only will they be single, they're going to be drunk, which means you can probably get them to do some shit that they typically wouldn't do. I mean, come on. You find drunk, vulnerable women in the strip club or drunk men with a pocket full of money? Come on. You can use that to your advantage. Take your ass to the strip club. I guarantee it will be a decision that you will not soon regret. So, and you know, last but not least, Valentine's Day is supposed to be all about love. So you tell yourself how much you love you all goddamn day long. Tell yourself how great you are. Tell yourself how good you look. Even if you look like shit, you still look in the mirror, you say, God damn, I look good. God damn, I'm sexy. Shit, I'm been, you know, even if you ain't been working out, just look at yourself and say, shit, I'm sexy. Damn, my body look good. You know, you got to love you. That's what's the most important thing about Valentine's Day this year. This is Courtney C. again for Q&A TV. And I approve this message. Peace out, bitch.